Paul, defeat at Oakwell today. Can you just give us your assessment of the afternoon? Yeah, uh, disappointing. I think uh, our performance was really encapsulated by the fourth goal we conceded. Uh, I don't think they ripped us apart at times. I just thought we were our own worst enemy. Uh, the goals we give away, we had opportunities to tackle, to clear it. And I just thought, um, first half, there's a line between confidence and arrogance. And I thought we could nearly got done once or twice playing across the back line too slow. And it should have been warning signs and it wasn't. Uh, and we kept doing it, which is frustrating. And they pressed us and punished us for that. And I just felt that we just a little bit old man today in the nicest possible sense. I can't knock the lads' efforts. You know, I take the um, criticism for the second half display. I said to them at half time, look, you've got to take less risks across the back line. I think they took me too literally, as in it became too direct. And any good play we had first half, we didn't have enough second half. Although, all that aside, you know, I reckon they probably created five or six chances, as did we, but we didn't take ours and everything that could have gone wrong in our defensive third sort of did. So um, there were some good bits, but not enough to come away with anything. I think the first half especially probably summed up what you're saying around chances. You probably had enough chances to be level at half-time at 3 all. Yeah, no, we hit the bar on the post uh, in the first half, and I didn't think our play was that bad in the final third. It's just that, like I said, I think they put it on us a little bit and... Uh, we have to stand up. So I like, just ask the lads there. What the, you know, I tell them what I think. They tell me what they think. And I just ask them to leave the dressing room today. And, and has as a learning curve. We've got plenty of games left to the season. There's plenty of points available. But we can't have another half-time team talk or a debrief after the game saying the same thing. So like, I made mistakes. I'm not saying I'm faultless. And no one intends to go out and play poorly. But I just think we had a few today who just weren't at their best. And if you're playing a team in the top six or like if this is a playoff game, you have to be at your best to come away with something away from home. And today it wasn't. And, you know, I appreciate we brought a massive following. Um, uh, so it's a pity for that. And thanks for supporting the team and for those who stayed at the end because obviously we'd lost 4-1. But it was a disappointing game and um, we need to get better. There was a bit of confusion around the first goal. Could you just clear up if you've spoken to the officials around it? Yeah, well, it was offside, um, but he reckons it hit a defender. Like, I can't, I've got to be honest, I can't see it. I mean, I can see it, and then I can see the lads go to the lino, and I can see the, them change their mind, it looked like, and then they changed it back again, which I thought was odd. I just thought that, fundamentally for us today, when we broke and we looked dangerous, they took us out, they got bookings. When they broke at pace, we didn't do the same thing. Uh, and sometimes... That professional edge is the difference between winning and losing, and that today, that's how it. I'm leaving the ground today. That's how I feel. With the nature of Skybet League One, of course, you are back in action on Tuesday, so it's a chance to turn things around and pick yourselves up and go again, isn't it? Yeah, well, I said it all along. Like, I'm not going to. Now the game's over. What can you do? There's no point. You know, I'll watch the game back tonight, and I'll show the lads on Monday, so we don't make the same mistakes, hopefully. But we're going to lose games. I don't expect to win every game, but I did turn up today full of confidence that we'd have enough and I thought at times our play was very good and you can see why with the team we are but we didn't have enough to win and you know that's on all of us and we'll try and put it right with our two home games but we've got a big five or six games coming up and we can't have let one performance break all the good work we've done uh, the lads are pretty confident but hugely disappointed and that's not a bad thing so yeah we've got two home games that we look forward to and you know hopefully pick up points you know like today um, like Plymouth the loss today Wickham are lost today. You just can't win every game. Although you want to, you want to. And it's sort of like more frustrating that the fact that if we'd have won today, we'd have caught a little bit on them. But fair play to Barnsley. They've done enough to beat us and uh, we have to learn from it. Yes, Paul, thanks for your time. Thanks, mate. Thank you.